Hello everyone, B-Phone 4 and Son of Beast here, and this time, it's about to go down. We are now in the conference finals for the championship game in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Now, this is where it gets things interested. If you're ready, it's that time, folks. One of the teams will be heading into the finals and win the whole thing. One team for Western Conference and one team for the Eastern Conference. It's coming up next, after this. Let's bring it on. It's what it all comes down to. LeBron James is one of the greatest men if you're playing with the player of the Cavaliers. But his team, he now refuses to quit. He never really wants to give up. But now, his team really needs him for the Lakers. Yeah, they all say contracts are everywhere. But this was never been the fella that he ever won the finals since 2016 with the Cavaliers. But this all has to happen. Every other time, they give him what he wanted. Well, LeBron James, a definite word to make that one helpful, a moment. They really loved him. It's fantastic in the first half today. He got him off to a great start, and even with that, we were only down three at the half. Um, I think it's been the timely shots by their role players. Um, obviously, the, I think the KCP, the Michael Porter Jr., the Bruce Browns, um, even Jeff, you know, hit a, a big-time timely shot today, you know, when we were kind of going on a run. So um, I, I think it's been their supporting cast have kind of uh, made those timely shots um, that's, uh, you know, allow them to kind of have the edge. We'll be here all night. Two yeah. on one for the Nuggets. Brown, Caldwell, Polk with the lefty layup. You just get him open, you just get, get him the ball and get him open. Uh, and, and see, I think it's so cool to see when, when he, when, uh, he gets, when everybody's like, you just get him the ball and screen for him, do something, just make them make some kind of little mistake so he can go and work. It's always a rematchable. From Nuggets and Lakers, they've always been a tough team, but they never get around easily to make that win. The ultimate matchup in between Nikola Jokic and LeBron James, it's always tough. But no one may never know if there is a higher range than that. Western Conference Finals against the Lakers back in 09 as Jokic throws it up and in. Just his fifth field goal attempt. Murray fires away at three. It's good. Jamal Murray struggling all night, making some big buckets here in the fourth. Joker working from the nail. Tough fadeaway. Counted and won. Oh, the joke's on you, Los Angeles! I mean, I never, I never, I never doubted, doubted my team, and um, I know they're capable. You see, in the in in third, third quarter, KCP had a huge, huge one segment, like four minutes. Away. He had, a, he had a big box out on AD. He had a turn, he had a, a steal. He had a big three, two big threes, or one big three. So I mean, you know. We have some really good, really good players that can can step up in, in the right moment, and, and that's what we did. Lakers, Nuggets, next on 2K Sports. Hello guys, Son of Beast here. Welcome to a, the Wednesday and Friday's game of the Lakers and the Nuggets, as we are about to be seeing the Western Conference Finals for the first game of this season, the postseason. This time, we are getting closer to the NBA Finals for the 2K23 and the Stanley Cup Finals of NHL 23 on EA Sports. Now, here's the matchup as we are about to be seeing who will win and take on in Game 2 along the way before, before the win of the series puts up in between Nuggets or Lakers. Here is a starting group as we have the Los Angeles Lakers, D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves, then LeBron James, Jared Vanderbilt, and Anthony Davis. On the other side for the Denver Nuggets, we have it's Jamal Murray, Kentavious Carball Pope, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, and Nikola Jokic. As of right now, me phone is right towards the, with the first commentary of the crew, along with Paintbrush. That will be the main part of the commentary that we'll be playing, hosting here for tonight, and along with the ball round pen. Now it's time to step into the Western Conference Finals and see who will take the win here. I'll be back with the halftime and post game show. All you guys enjoy your next doubleheader game. 
Welcome to this part of the Western Conference Finals. Paintbrush here along with me, Burn, and Paul Brown Pen for tonight's game of the Western Conference Finals of the NBA Playoffs. With me we have is Allie LaForce, but we'll be seeing her later for the halftime show as we will be setting things up on its way. The courtesy starting lineups are being here as follow. Michael Porter Jr. and LeBron James are the key matchups. Jokic and Davis are the center guards of the key matchup. Now, there really are tough ones here because Anthony Davis has been pulling up at one of the best successful of this team league. He noticed that when he ever plays it before, he knows how he can definitely handle it. Other for, for Nikola Jokic, he definitely does really well and do that one of the best thing as he has ever done it before. Since we see it last season here in NBA 2K22, they really say that the Lakers are very a tough team, but thematically, they really wanted to become that they wanted to move on. Because right now, in real life, Nuggets are on its way to the finals, but we'll find out who will be the next one in the NBA 2K23. After slam by D'Angelo Russell after a pass here, here's Murray. He'll dish it off to Aaron Gordon. He passes over to Carwell Pope. Carwell Pope passes to Aaron Gordon. He gives it over to Jamal Murray, now finds Carwell Pope. Moving from the two. The rebound puts up a Jokic. And the Joker for Jokic will take his first bucket. He just has that one out there. Nikola Jokic already the biggest star of the game. The Inferni, Inferni International team lead turned out to be really not hard, but they were knowing it. At that time, it's always that soft. Davis back to Reeves. Carwell Pope on the, in the corner. Finding with the two, around the layup shot. It's rebounded by Nikola Jokic. He has his first rebound of the night, and now we're under five minutes to go for the start. Now, they never noticed it before. I always have seen, last time it meant for the real games, the first game was definitely for the win for the Nuggets. They're very a great team. Because you never heard of it from Nikola Jokic. They were saying that we never won the finals. We only They only won once before I was drafted. But not to be clear, they were worried out hard to be on a, on a short team. But they really never seen what was going on. I hope there could still be another uh, part of the team that they can try to handle it. They're really off to a great start. They really wanted to get it done, they wanted to get it clean. And you know, that was definitely a, the deflection turned out, but great save come be, because the last touch was on Davis. Porter Jr. pulls it back over to Carwell Poe. Down to five on the shot clock, free for Jamal Murray. Team free! Good outside of range, that's the first three-pointer of the night. He's really a big. Jamal Murray, the Canadian player, really does that for well. And extremely on the position. They were earlier saying that Jamal Murray should be the next star to get in it. Now, Reeves is on Carwell Pope. And right now, here's Vanderbilt. The two, and a drive is good. He has his first bucket in game one. When that finishing move comes in towards it, his one hand lays it up. And that was your mobile one drive for the Lakers. Here's Jokic. Swings it over to Michael Porter Jr. This is the pass right over to Carwell Pope. 3.45 left to go in the first period as now Porter Jr. gives it back to Murray. Murray swings it over again to Carwell Pope. Down to five on the shot clock. With a layup and rejection up. Back to Jokic and now we will have to reset it up from the top. That rejection out of it turned to be a very close call. It may have been Jared Vanderbilt or it may have been LeBron James. It might be another way that they can try to keep it out of here and alive. The first foul has been called on LeBron James. That'll be his first personal, first team foul for Los Angeles. Right now, Michael Porter Jr. at the free throw line, shooting two. In the last game, however, Michael Porter Jr. really had saw that one. They were already been showing it like they did. Because of the last game, they were really on the top of the mound. They delivered a win against the LA Clippers back in, like, in Los Angeles at the Crypto.com Arena. They were really that good, but you know, they really never got a chance to like do this one again. They're very that tough, and dramatically clear, they really want it all. First free throw sent in for Michael Porter Jr. Now he's a very taller man, he was really showing a lot of struggling for this offensive run. I gotta say for Michael Porter Jr., he was very that tough. But this is beyond honor to be clear. And you can never just say that 
whatever you want to make that one more one look right, you want to make sure that you have it on on the good good uh, transition to go in between. MPJ can be a little bit of a good initial name, and I guess they would all improve it too. Here's James. He will send it over on the other side of the court. Now finds Reeves. Reeves looking it over on KCP. James on MP AJ. Down to six on the shot clock. Austin Reeves on court with a poke. Screen on Davis. Two for the shot and good. Austin Reeves at his first bucket down. And now it's a seven to six game. Here's Murray. He will kiss it over again to Carwell Pope. Now this off the bounce pass to Aaron Gordon. Trying to make a move. Fade a shot. We'll have to give it back to Jamal Murray. Shooting for the elbow. Good shot. And Jamal Murray has his second bucket. He has five points. Now that's a bit of stepping the drive out there because Jamal Murray really sees that one pretty, pretty much, Gary. Really saw that? They really wanted to do it for good. Austin Reeves on KCP. Trying to give a pass. D'Angelo Russell for three. And the three won't cut in. Now Carwell Pope gives it over to Murray. Murray swings to Porter Jr. Back again to Murray. Over to Gordon. And Gordon rolling it over again to Michael Porter Jr. with only two minutes to go in the first period. A lot of ball movement here for Denver. They're trying to make that one clear. Murray for the set two. That goes off the rim and it's Davis with the rebound. When that played into this offense, because Davis was already there, he really had that one to keep out of here. Russell on Porter Jr. Screen on Reeves for the two. Good D by Michael Porter Jr. He receives his first rebound of the night. Porter Jr. passes to Phil Jokic. Jokic fighting over again to Jamal Murray. Bounce pass to Gordon, upper over Reeves. And two pointers off the mark. Not this time, Jokic picks up a number two. That's his second bucket of the night. That's reaching out here because Nikola Jokic is really that tall. And the player, this man, he really does that for all. Timeout call by Los Angeles with only 1.15 to go in the first period. If you all expected to say that the Stanley Cup playoffs is in it, well, it's getting there close down to the wire. We only have Stanley Cup finals for the next game. Final two teams from the Eastern and Western Conference of the champions, and it will be moving in to meet for them for the second season of NHL. Now, they would say that they were very that tough, but be honest with you, I've always agreed that everyone can be definitely be proud of it anyway. They are always that good. And you may have ever expected that one of the players may be having the toughest curriculum and the most career line, he's definitely doing really well. Keep an eye on the pride out of it. They really enjoyed it. No matter how they did. They really would love to do it anytime. Yeah, especially to say. But I haven't heard of it. Somebody else has been saying that your team is definitely what the, everyone was doing. You should get over this one and get it done. They really are showing up with lots of respect and they all with lots of love to the fans. New substitution in for the Lakers and for the Nuggets. Now we have his Bamba. He's checked in for Anthony Davis. In the inside is Ray Hachimura. And we have his Malik Beasley right towards the ROA. 19! What a great deflection! That's his first block. Now they would never know that. Naji, how do you do that? We got a look at the replay of it and got a good eye from the camera side. He's knocking it out of here in the middle. I noticed that when Najee was doing it right ahead, he says, I want to deflect it. I have to try to practice that. And he wants to do it, and he finally nailed it. He finds Schroeder. Now in the middle. Bamba for the three. That Bamba freezes was shot in. And that's his first bucket of the night. They're really saying that Mohan Bamba, he's been playing here with the Magic. 
But now, he's rolling in with the young number team for the LA Lakers. Because he's really showing it off from the, from the southeast coast to the west coast. And the Pacific area, they really are saying that they are just going to need to try to keep an eyes on him. They need someone else. They're losing a lot of franchise players for the Orlando Magic. They're looking for somebody else to bring it in. Deuce James finds Schroeder. Schroeder goes foul with the layup drive, and it's Smith with the first foul. Dennis Schroeder at the free throw line shooting two. You can't just let Dennis Schroeder get right into that one. That, that really does stand out. When he had that one layup in, he would have that one right over on the target line. Free throw coming up for the Los Angeles Lakers with only 32 seconds to go in the fourth period. First free throw set in for Dennis Schroeder. He's moldingly a better, better player than the angle. But you can never just say that Dennis Schroeder is one of the biggest part of the game and you can really step on into it. I know he was really well, but can you feel how well he's, he's been a popular player since being as a, as a German professional basketball player? Well, he's really all into that one. I mean, you can definitely just say that German players always never give up. He really wanted to make that one maintain. And since back playing for the Olympics, he was really into that. He got to try to like make that one a, a better stretch of the angle. It really is showing him what they've got. They're not really showing it off like they were doing. Because of the players, they were really up to it. Thomas Frank with the first bucket. Now here's Trey James going for the fast break. Moving inside with a two. The two-pointer carries off the mark. And Green and Brent going to have court. Deep range went off the target. That's the end of the first quarter. A great start up by three for Denver. 13 takes your score. We went right back for the second quarter. Right at this period. You're watching the NBA in Western Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Welcome back to Ball Arena. We're about to start for the second quarter. Denver are up by three. They're really are saying this one here because the last season was a blowout for the Los Angeles Lakers as back for the last game in 2K22 of season six. They're really off to authentic run. How did they really take over it? Well, you know that LeBron James for the regular season really did come up that strong. But they were really just trying to like keep him over with the offense line. They really are in a struggle inbounding. They're taken away by everybody. They never really want to get on with that. Because right now, they beat against the Denver Nuggets the last part of the season. They were really into that. But it looks like they might need to go with somebody else. They have to find and memorize to go right towards the angle. They really got to show it up. Here's James on a fast break for the two. It's good. And a courtesy of the Denver Nuggets are being on the court. They are all in it. As right now we have is Jeff Green. He's covered up by LeBron James. Then it's Thomas Brandt. Here with on the other side of Mahan Bama. Brady Jackson on Dennis Schroeder. Michael Porter Jr. on James. And we have is Bruce Brown. Now on Malik Beasley. And finally, we have is Jeff Green on Brady Hachimura. With the two, count the bucket and one. Brady will have his first personal foul. And Jeff Green at the free throw line shooting one. Showing a good contact out of it. You know that Jeff Green is never really going to get that one over. But I guess he just did have it. A right moment to bat that one. Bucket release. Free throw is up. And right now as we're being bringing down to 5 11 to go. They're just trying to like make it quick. But all it does say. That they always know. That Jeff Green does it again. Now as we always have heard of it before. You, you never see what was going to be happening like this. Because they are very at tough. All the players seem to be uh, impressed by Jeff Green. But you can't find out which Jeff Green is it. If it's from a different team or the same team. Jalen Green, Danny Green, Draymond Green. I mean, you can't just find anybody like that. Yeah, it, it's very not complicated, but don't, don't get a, a, uncomfortable if you're understanding of where it is. Breeze for three. Hits the rim, and Nikola Jokic will take his fourth rebound. He passes over to Carvel Pope. Oh, back again to Jokic. Over again to Jackson. 
Jackson, swing it over to Porter Jr. Now Porter Jr. gives it over to Jackson, now finds Carwell Pope. Down to five in the shot clock. Jackson over it again. Put a layup. The two makes up of an off-target seven. The change now, Austin Reese gives it to Beasley. And he's fouled. Michael Porter Jr. receives his first. That'll be their first team foul for Denver Nuggets. They're just not getting enough out there because they really are starting to get uncomfortable and they really are trying to leave it alone. Yeah, it's just not that very well because of an offensive play. You're going to have a tough time doing this. At the free throw line, it's Malik Beasley at the free throw line. And as you may already have noticed, it's going to be a very tough one and no one may have the call to do it again. He delivers the first free throw for Beasley. Now for the new players, as Jared Vanderbilt will check in for Mori Hachimura. The Nuggets are making a new change up here as Gordon is checked in. Right now he's with uh, and shoving in for, for Jeff Green. And Murray for is in Smith. Now German players never really want to get hesitated because if all that happens now, he was in, in Boston, in Germany. Part of the league that was happened here in the career history was the Phantoms. And it, this was the, lo the foreign team that he was ever been introduced because of his moment of the player before his draft was started with the Atlanta Hawks. That's his playing part of a career in 2013, the 17th overall draft pick. Now they're really saying that Dennis Schroeder was able to do that one of these timing. I know it doesn't really help him, but all you can say now is Dennis Schroeder really gives that one a call and go with the head. Nikola Jokic at the free throw line shooting two after a foul has been called by Anthony Davis. He has had his first personal foul. Now putting it up on the lower line, and he will have to shoot again by two. Jokic's his first free throw is good. You know this was definitely a hard one. A Serbian professional basketball player was going to say what he was doing it. And ever that time, he really does that one. To make a good one, to make the, make the run, and off to a better start of the angle. Yeah, he was definitely in the first part of the nomination. He was never really turning out, because if a mega basketball player really has it all, that was the part of the mega basket that he was ever started. And that was a and that was a Serbia that he was remaining. That was a part of it for the Olympic Games that he was ever been introduced. They're not really showing it what they were getting over it, because they were very not top of the stuff. Nobody really has noticed. They can't just try to figure it out because the Serbian player really is showing up what they've got. And the foreign in the team really does. Here's Murray on the outside, covered up by D'Angelo Russell. Now over again to Michael Porter Jr. Six on the shot clock. Here's Murray, Canadian player for three. Rebound is put it up and it's put it away for Anthony Davis with a third rebound. Picking up another run down there. Anthony Davis really just trying to like give it up and make that one countable. Vanderbilt on Jokic. Watching here, Reese for the outside three. Leaves it up and it's Michael Porter Jr. with a rebound. From Missouri, he really does have it all. Show a great team to fire all of them. They say, yes. They say they really want to get over this. But not at all, because this better career does it again. Shot clock down to five. Had to look for someone else. And the two, Jokic. Good. And the two is right inside, right by the elbow. Timeout called by Los Angeles with under three minutes to go in the first half. They're showing a bigger stuff. How do you always believe that? And right at this moment, they're just trying to figure it out. How are they going to get it done? And with that one, we'll be right back with you for the first half to close it off. They're showing love. Denver Mile High, your place to shine. The NBA playoffs of the Western Conference Finals on, on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. Mountain Dew. Do the do. 
and by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Coming up will be the halftime show, as right at the first half of the moment, as Son of Beast will be showing it off with the first half recap in between with the Lakers and the Nuggets. Following along with the best moment out they did with the total statistics, we will find out who had that one a better change off. And at this moment, they're really are trying to keep it over. On a single line with a digit, they're really trying to make that one clear and simple. They are just trying to make that one have a hard run to the impact. But there may not be anybody to get right over into this. They are trying to make that one a harder sell. And that's because they've really done that. It's coming up here after the first half has been completed. Good stop by Michael Porter Jr. on a, on a block pass. Gordon uses a tricky layup to finish the cut. Now that is what everyone is thinking. After Porter Jr. with a steal, they don't really are showing off that they really can't do it. They're really off to an effective point. Who's busy on Porter Jr. trying to make a run around him and a two-pointer is stuck for him. Porter Jr. receives his third rebound of the night. Deep pass to Murray. Murray trying to make a move out of it. Passes to Michael Porter Jr. With the finish and great try for Michael Porter Jr. His second bucket of the night. Now down to under two minutes to go in the first half. Here's Beasley. He is trying to make that one move quickly. Russell on Murray. Russell trying to look it over. Find again to Beasley. Screen on Davis. With a two. Oh! He knocked over! That really is trying to make that one a surprise moment out there. That was a very tough one. Well, as you may have just already heard of it, they were just knocking it and bubbling out. Anthony Davis got it. And that was a better alley oop successful to make the start for the LA Lakers on the second half. Well, they've always been trying to make gain on that run. They wanted to say, Jokic, how could you ever try to do this? Jokic misses the two pointer. Porter Jr. trying to way outside, now finds Murray. And passes to Gordon. Right back to Murray for three. Sky high. This is the three pointer outside. And Beasley back the other way. He moves over to Russell. Now finds Reeves. Reeves with the cover and the move. Reeves moving around again. Russell for three. Three pointer misses off the target, and now Gordon gives it over to Carmel Poe. Gordon to the two, watching here, and it didn't really stand alone again. Well, he missed that two-pointer up. He had it a little mistaken, but may not be tough enough there or going for Walking foul's been called on Porter Jr., his second personal. And now Beasley's checked out as James is checked in. Same thing going with the Nuggets, as right now they're making new changes. Murray, Carbo, Pope, Porter, and Gordon are checked out, as Gordon moves over to small forward and Murray in the shooting guard. Here's James, trying to deliver it up, and a foul has been called by Nikola Jokic. It's first personal, and a third team foul for Denver. They're not showing it up a lot of respect out there because of LeBron James. This is what really happens, trying to put a face on face against LeBron James. They really are trying to make that one settle. The score is not what everyone does. He's at the free throw line, shooting two. His first free throw is good. Now, as we all noticed here before, he was the biggest star. The King James attended a high school that was after here in Akron, Ohio, before drafting with the Cleveland Cavaliers, a part of it of St. Vincent and St. Mary. They're not really a tough one to be a college school team, but it's a high school team that he does happen here before. Well, you always have to care for that one because of LeBron James, who has a lot of stories to maintain it right behind it. And they all remembered it. As they always say, this is what the team does. And now, he has a school that says, I can school, and then the learning back in Akron, Ohio. Well, he does that one here, learning for the technology part of the school and the learning system. The generation is very like in the public. They're really loving it to everybody, and they won. And give that one a good credit runs to everyone. Now, here's Smith. 
He will get it over to Brent. Down to five on the shot clock. Smith, first grab with a buzz beater. And it's off the win. That ends the first quarter, first half of the period. 24 and 22 is your score. Well, no other force on the sideline. Time for the halftime show. See you later in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, good to see you back again for the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you can't see me, unfortunately, but you can only see the TV. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The part of a Western Conference is a battle collision. Nuggets are in a lead to take over with the run. But the close game it gets was a 24-22 score. Let's start off with Denver Nuggets. They're really on a better fast breaking on their angle. Their first seed is a knockout hit, but they're not very really important to try to like win it all. Instead, they want someone else to try to take them over. Now for the Los Angeles Lakers. Their wild team in the below position, the number seven seed. They beat out two times, the Grizzlies and the other team of the Golden State Warriors. But now, this is it. Their final chance may be determined to find out who will it be. Will it happen again? Probably do. And now we'll wrap it up for the halftime show. Now we go back to Mile High. Paintbrush, speed phone, ball round band standing by. I'll see you back again for the halftime show to post game show. Welcome back to Ball Arena as we're about to start the third quarter. Denver up by two, and we all know this one of a man of his ultimate career successful, the last MVP player that was ever receiving for the last playoff of the regular season and postseason, Nikola Jokic. He was very well, infertility, and they were very that tough. He won two in a row for this part of the game because everybody really knows him. But now for this year, in 2023, Joel Embiid won the most valuable player, and he remembers all fans really love Embiid. He's a legend, and he will never, and he'll never lose anybody to make that one of a kind. Yeah, his special team really needs him. They all loved him, and his better performance run since playing of Kansas University. Jokic back to Carmelo Pope, now finds Porter Jr. Around Reeves! Good stop by Reeves and James with the rebound. He really want that back. D'Angelo Russell misses the three. Carmelo Pope trying to move it over again to Porter Jr. Looking for another LA to beat. And Reeves, bad pass here. Now Davis on the attacker, one on one. Moving in! Davis scores! They're tied up by 24. And LeBron James with the assist. They're just trying to make that one struggle. The fight back. They never really want to carry it on. Carwell Pope passes to Aaron Gordon. Gordon trying to loop it over again to Porter Jr. And Murray for three. Off the range, and it's missed again. Vanderbilt has his first rebound of the game. No points given. Breeze for the lead. No pointer given. They're still tied up now with only 440 to go. Porter Jr. trying to make a move around him. Waits patiently, now finds Gordon. In from around the attacker's outside is Murray. Murray trying to make a move out, out toward in the middle. Five to shoot. Got to make that one quick targets here. Carwell Pope for the two. The two knocked out, and James got it. He's really well, trying to leave it out with the mark. But you can't just say that when everyone does, they're wearing up to a challenge. The two-pointer really does stand out for Anthony Davis. That was his only wide net. Here's Murray, he passes to Aaron Gordon. Now finds again to Murray. Outside, Porter Jr. Porter Jr. trying to make the pass back to Carwell Pope. Now back to Porter Jr. Back to Carwell Pope. Trying to make a screen for Jokic. Moving inside, his speed set. And two catch it in. Without the shot clock turning off. It's unplugged, but they're never showing it what they did. That's a better play in this Carwell Pope finally got a bucket. Reeves on Carwell Pope. Now finds again to oh, D'Angelo Russell. Now finds Rick James on the outside. Ranging over again to Vanderbilt. Looks over to Reeves. Passing inside to Davis. Moves it over. The jumper off the target range. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Now back again is Carwell Pope. Racing over to the two. Front of baseline's good. And Carwell Pope has a second bucket. He's up into it now. 
We've got the first half score of this point, and now he's in the second half. That was everybody's opinion. They really were showing up like they always did. James looking over again to Russell. Looks to Davis. Out of one hand, Dennis. Jump slam down right towards the middle. That ranging is a tough sight. Timeout has been called by Denver Nuggets as they will call their first timeout in the third quarter. 2.49 to go in the third quarter. They're not really showing it up because you can never just say what in the world are you going to need to do. you got to try to like make that one a, a tough one. And you may not have anybody else to try to keep it out of here. You just got to get over it. That's what everybody does for it. One single time and you will it. They really stand a lot to make that one worthless. They should never be worthless. They should get right into this one and show them who's the coverage and try to take him over from the other side. Well, as you may have expected that one, they're really that tough. But you can't just really say that the, that the player of the Jokic was out of breath. He didn't really have enough energy to try to regain. And they couldn't try to hustle it. This inbounding is an impact. They really don't want to get that one over and don't get uncomfortable. They want to make that one far clean. And that is why you don't want to make that one a losing your stamina in order to regain your energy. New substitution as now Jokic is checked out and Thomas Brandt is checked back in. Four players are checked out as four players move in. Bamba, Hachimura, Beasley, and Schroeder are checked in. And right now all five players are checked out. Jackson is back on the court along with Bruce Brown, Nezi Zat Naji, and across from here, Jeff Green. Reggie Jackson, out to a shot. And it's Dennis Schroeder with the foul. He receives his first personal and their first team foul for Los Angeles. They're very showing it up by quick movement. You did not know what Ricky Jackson was able to take him over. That was everybody's his reason. They're not showing it like they really wanted to get over it. They are really trying to leave it out and mark her. It doesn't really happen again and over on the other hand. They really need to know what they've got. Jackson at the free throw line shooting two. Hits the first free throw. He was also nicknamed as the Big Government, and that was the part of it as he was known to be calling a government to put up a run in America. His part of the college and career information was put up and received. First, he was played here, and college was Boston College. His most of the was encouragement before the 2011 pick, the 24th pick of the OKC Funders. That was his first stop before he makes it over to play with Detroit Pistons, then Los Angeles Clippers, and now he is with the Denver Nuggets. They really say because Reggie Jackson is the biggest government on the on the player of the offense, the secondary player that was ever there. I knew he was really well, but think about his strength. If there is a big president here on right on the court and never really wanted to give that one at all, they would just have to get away with it. <laughs> Not a choice. They're really showing up that you can't even mention it. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter of the period, and Brown looking it over again. Now he will try to make that move into the offense run. Trying to need to make a quick move again to Green. Green passed the ground for three. That three went in and out. Bamba with the rebound and now Schroeder on the attack. The German player on its way. Moving in the middle. Ball stolen and Green takes it away. That was the last touch by Brent. That really does turn it up. Really done a better look. Nice D by LeBron James. He's receiving another rebound and trying to put it away. Shooter for three. That's good. And the lead now up by one. Never noticing how Dennis Schroeder could definitely do. He really can't just say he's ever to make that one a tough making shot. Jackson to the drive and it's good. Back to 101 for fast break and the marathon up and downwards. Never noticing how Brookie Jackson does. He gets that one a good one to make a finish in the sideline. And that was your mobile one drive for Brookie Jackson. What a nice coverage to make that in go. Here's James. And oh, slam down. One hand dunk. They just want to pass the crowd. 
Oh, you do not want to make that one a mistake. And you can't just really say that LeBron James wants to give a high flyer and try to shush the crowd. You really want to stay in silent. You can never just say what everybody does. Grant, back pass to Jeff Green. Now again to Bruce Brown. Rolls it right over to Reggie Jackson. And Brown, with the layup, is blocked by Bamba. And that will be a shot clock violation. It is now Denver to Lakers. That was hitting off the backboard, and it's not a goaltending. Well, you really say because he did have it all, and there was no foul call. That never really caught up with the goaltender, and they really never wanted to get that. They were really all the way. That's what happens before, and you know that Mohan Bama was putting it right in towards the towards the back power. And this player of inbounding cannot be the dude. And Bama will hand it in with a drive. Najee to Smith with 15 seconds to go. Now Najee and Brown decide to take the three. Misses it. Baba back over to get the Schroeder down to five seconds. And James for the buzz beater. Misses the three and now end the third quarter. It's a close game right now. Now the Lakers lead by three and we have time for one more quarter. We'll be right back after this message is... You're watching the NBA Western Conference 2K23 on 2K Sports. Be right back after this. And a moment now to reveal your State Farm Assist of the Game. Now, I was seeing it before because I was looking at it right for the Lakers. On my eye at the attacker, they were really showing off for LeBron James and Anthony Davis. That was always that put it up a fair move. If I your drive, you never really saw that one going. We are down to the fourth quarter, and this is where it comes in for the first win in the Western Conference Finals. Right now, we start the group. Anthony Davis is on Nikola Jokic, and Carwell Pope is on Austin Reeves. And Gordon, he's already with on LeBron James. Then it's Murray on D'Angelo Russell, Michael Porter Jr. on James, and then the point four position is... Sorry about that one here, on um, Jared, on um, Murray Hachimura, and finally, we have it across here, Rees on the Davis Carmel Pope. And that will be the foul called on Ray Hachimura. That will be his first personal and number team foul called on Los Angeles. Aaron Gordon at the free throw line, shooting two. Now that range is putting up a hard one impact. You can't just let go downward. Don't get over this. It's uncomfortable to be anybody. Gordon hits the first free throw. Now Ray Hachimura's out, and Vanderbilt's check back in, back to the starting five. And, and attention fans, we have a new episode release been here coming out soon, before the M8 Sandy and the BFDI experience about to release on June 25th and July 8th. So with that moment, stay tuned, as right now, after the NBA playoffs and the finals, we will have the start for the second of the kind here for this part of the episode to end for the 2022 to 23 new episodes before we head in to the next part of the year in 23 to 24 of the new episodes in Anime Sandy Invitational. But that is all. It does turn out. No other worries. They will get a fine. So make sure you keep turning in to Animation Epic by subscribing to it or deals, be ready for anybody because they have already been pushed back, but not until we get another new release of the single digit, you'll find out what will they do. Because that will be determined here, we're not sure what will the new episode will be, we'll have to keep an eye on it on again. Here's Jokic, finding over Michael Porter Jr., fade a shot, now finds Jokic. Jokic around Davis, ugly and in the angle. But it's Davis with the rebound. Well, he's getting a little bit caught up anyway. He didn't really want that. He really wanted to like try to keep him out of here as single digit. It's not what nobody wants. Don't let it get over it. And with that one, the traveling has been called by LeBron James. Turns it over to Denver Nuggets ball. 4.23 left to go. They still have some time before the end of the regulation period. 
Denver trail by two. Pass to Porter. Trying to make a fast break. Trying to give a pass to Jokic. For the three, Murray! And that's still not enough to make that one out there as James has his rebound. He always clean on the first half, but the second half, he didn't really get enough attention again. You're just showing it. Too much, he carries on. You don't want that anybody to get out of the way. They were really up to it. Whoa! Eric Gordon! Up hard for the rainbow! The sky's the limit. Eric Gordon really elevating it. I have never seen what was going on. That is the like sickest stunt I've ever seen. Do you know what nobody has ever seen of how flying this is? Back from the Magic? You never know. D'Angelo Russell. Russell with a two-pointer. They're back up by five. Now he passes to Murray. Murray slows it down. Now finds Jokic. And three-pointer outside is Porter Jr. Trying to be ready out there. And now Jokic with the screen, but denies it. Outside. Trying to go for it. He missed the three-pointer. Davis, right in the side of the, in the paint. And the attack, foul, and that will be on Jamal Murray. That's his first personal foul with only 3.07 to go in the fourth quarter. They're just showing it off. They're not really showing it a lot of priority. This is called for like, a lot of disrespectful on the court. But as you notice, for the last part of the game, it was aggressive on uh, Aaron Gordon and LeBron James. They are very that tough and be strong. But you can't just get rid of, get away with it because they really are trying to knock him out. Anthony Davis at the free throw line as the Los Angeles Lakers are adding a free throw percentage. First free throw set in for Anthony Davis. He's now a biggest man in the game, and you always can't tell that he's definitely the bigger man that he was ever doing it. And that's why he also was the American player, and now I happen to be honest, played from Kentucky. Well, that was all that did happen now. And you can't just expect it from Anthony Davis play with Jamal Murray at the same time because they're already the same. Timeout call by Denver Nuggets with 3 7 to go. They're trying to answer back, and next up on the list will be on its way to go up for tomorrow night's game, the start of the Stanley Cup Conference Finals, in between by the two range, Bruins and the Chrome Kings. Their first team will be heading in right towards it, will be at the first location right around the set. And they're not really are trying to like keep them over from the other side of it. But as you always know, they always get tougher enough to be on a lookout chain. As right now, the first stop will be at Atlantic and Boston. That will be the first start here for the Carolina and, and Boston here for the conference finals. And along with the other team, the, uh, the Avalanche will be playing against the Seattle Kraken. That will be the first stop here at Ball Arena on Sunday, 5 p.m. So get yours now and get in the game only on Son of Beast. Make sure to subscribe to this channel because we all have tons of more to keep on going. If you don't, somebody will. changes on right toward the offense and defense. We have a reporter from Allie LaForce. She said that they were really up to a fennec. But all you say what LeBron James does, they are already been showing it up. They really are nobody else but that age really does keep on coming. They really keep it out there for like anybody. But for that being said, they just have a crush out if they want to keep it going. Well, it's not what they really were saying. They were already on the bigger inbounding. And for that one, they really are trying to make that shuffle. They don't want to get over this, because if they do, they can't leave them alone. Anthony Davis with the finishing drive, and that was your mobile one take. Yeah, that was all it does, because Anthony Davis really never got that point. They need to get that one right back into it. Here's Aaron Gordon right towards the inside. Outside, three-pointer for Gordon. Good! Rolling down by 44-38. They're trying to keep it going, they want to get it done. Porter Jr. has seven points in the game, and Russell on Murray. Breeze on the outside of Corbell Pope. Pass to James. James trying to move around again on Porter Jr. Russell on Murray. Just two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. 
trying to leave a mark open. The two. In and out. Rebound and step out of bounds. No jump ball call by Jokic and Davis. As right now, they will stop the play. Corwell Pope is out. And right now, Bruce Brown's checked in. We're under two minutes to go. They're trying to look for an answer. The pressure back. They better do this. James in the corner. Now in the way. Move the pass. It's stolen. Here's Brown. And finding Jamal Murray. Brown. Word Junior. Second three. The fans are putting up excitement for the mile high. They really want this. Here's James on Porter Jr. trying to face it. Up the two. Good, no good. Now they're back to Jokic. Over to Murray. Murray again to Brown. Trying to do it for three. It's good. Man, Porter Jr. on fire tonight. That facing of a comeback in game one. Murray Jr. has 13 points. A never noticed by Michael Porter from Missouri. Knew it right away. You better believe him. James missed it. They have some time now to make up a lead. And Bruce Brown over to Gordon. And will finish it to take the lead. Bruce Brown with the assist. And timeout called by Los Angeles. Oh, you'll never see that. They always say, Porter Jr. is a killer. Yeah, they're really our biggest man. You've never seen what was going on. But before and after, they're really up to a authentic of the game. The offense is putting up a great offense takeover. And just like you know, always know for the last game, the, the Cavaliers couldn't make the win. And without one, Jason Tatum makes the buzz meter. I mean, come on, man. How do you always have to respect that? Well, everybody does that for so long. Not even what everybody really cares for. They really wanted to be on the road. Yeah, just to face of the fact. Always a pity if you don't have it in mind. Your opportunity is just a great one to be on the lookout, Jay. And they're really tough. Be on aggressive when you can be. They need somebody else to bring up the pressure and balance. The NBA playoffs are uh, NBA Western Conference Finals and 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. State Farm. Call or get a free quote now at 1-800-STATE FARM. And by your local Kia dealers. And boy, that's Fires. Now it's time for your New Balance Player of the Game. The player for Game 1, Mile High, goes to MPJ. Michael Porter Jr. Well, as you always know, makes the three pointers three in a row. They say that, okay, forget about it. I'll just do it again. And he didn't really want to set it alone. He just did it like he did. That passing was a great offense run. You can never go wrong with Michael Porter Jr. He really wants to be a hero and try to make a comeback score. We're down under a minute to go. Here's James on Porter Jr. Try to watch on him. James with a two. Great T by Michael Porter Jr. And we'll give it off to Porter. Around Vanderbilt. Good T. Davis over again to James. James trying to make it over. The pass. It's off the range and went out of trouble. James is cold. Oh boy, he never really wanted to get on with that. They just can't believe it. James got a little bit aggressive. He just went too hard. This isn't what I want to go for. I have to do it again. Here's Murray, five on the shot clock. Bruce Brown. Brown for three. Good! They are fire. Up by five and Porter Jr. That's four three-pointer streak in a row. What a jam. I know what you're thinking. They're going to make that one a good start, just like the real game happens. 49 and 44, it's like a, oh man, you always have to believe that. Mile high is an impressive sight to enjoy. Final timeout called by Los Angeles Lakers. And stay tuned for tomorrow's game on Saturday prior time. We start with the Eastern Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup of the Canes and the Bruins at TD Garden Arena. That'll be the first game on its way after the first game of the Celtics and the Cavaliers. 
That'll be the next part of it to keep your eyes peeled on for our next part of the game. And at this point, we'll see how this one goes to keep it around it. It really got tough. And you know, be honestly on the lookout range, I have to say this. They're really that tough and impressed sight. They never really want to keep it over and they never want to go under. That's how hard it gets. The important player to know. That's what they really want. Yeah, same thing with always. For Denver and for, for the team of Colorado Apps. They've really always been up the best player and the best team on this offense run. The franchise team really sent a lot to the point. Here's D'Angelo Russell for three. It's off the range. And that will end the first game of the night. Jokic will have the first one, and that's only one foul to give. Finds Murray, and he will end it off. D'Angelo Russell with the first foul, third team foul. And Murray at the free throw line, shooting two. They all respect him for the Canadian player. Jamal Murray at the line for two. It's the first free throw. And he hits the second. Down to five seconds. Russell on a breakaway chain. For the buzz beater for Reeves. And it's off the mark and that will end the first Western Conference Finals. 51 to 44 is your final score. What amazing this game run. They really always been out the best player they get. Just like a real game happens. And to close things off, we are now signing. All right, thank you. Tonight defensively, what can you say about the effort on that end of the floor? I mean, uh, it's a whole collective. You know, it's a, not just one guy; it's the five guys on the floor. So, it's a coach, it's a fans, it's a fans. So, thank you, thank you guys, thank you a lot. Thanks to all, thanks to you, Nicole. All right, Ali, thank you very much. And that will end for the Western Conference Finals of the first game. 1 0 is the series. Thanks for tuning in with us as this has been a presentation of the Western Conference Finals. With me, Paintbrush, me, Phone, and Ball Round Pen. Good night and mile high. All right, Paintbrush, thank you very much. As right now, the first win comes in for the Western Conference, the first seed beating the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a 51 44. They've been on a great start after a comeback rally for Michael Porter Jr. That is surprising. They always say that, do it again. They want the fans to hear it. They really loved it. And that's why they always have to do is to show who you are and not being given up. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 38% for the field goals for the Denver Nuggets along with 33 free pointers and 91 free throws for Denver Nuggets. Fast break, points in the paint, was 10 and 24 for Los Angeles. Seven for the second chance points for the Denver. Bench points was 13 for Los Angeles. Then it was 15 for Denver, assisted by a row. Nine offensive rebounds and 21 defensive rebounds was even. Four steals were given for the Denver, and one block was chained off. In between of Anthony Davis and the other team, no, Mohan Bamba, and the other player we all called for. And you know, this was all that happens, Aaron Gordon. So yeah, that does seem to be true. You can't just tell which one is higher. Three turnovers, three, eight points off for Denver Nuggets, then five dunks for Los Angeles. Nine biggest lead for Los Angeles, two, and 13.52 was their time of possession for Denver. So that wraps it up for Mile High. Time to finish it off for three star players of the game. We start off with the first one. As we're getting it down, down to number three, we start with the Joker. Nikola Jokic, the Serbian player, and 8 points, 13 rebounds, 1 assist, and 10 performance run. They were really up to a great authentic run. He had so many rebounds, he's the biggest man that he's ever done. A lot of facing the contact, but can't just get the foul right onto James. Not when you want it wanted. <laughs> I, I know. Don't get me over that, if you don't mind. Now, for the second star. We have on the other side. It's Michael Porter Jr. The New Balance player of the game, 16 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 steal. 
He is on fire. Four free pointers, two or free throws, and five out of six field goals. Only with 20% of the run. He's that fantastic. You better pay respect from the University of, of Missouri for a quarter judo. And finally, we have number one is Anthony Davis. He received 17 points, six rebounds, and three dunks. 17 performance run was the last one he had made. Only one three-pointer. Seven out of ten field goals were made, and only two free throws at the free throw line. That was all that he put it up from University of Kentucky. That was all that did happen, but don't feel uncomfortable if you get that one right over it. So that ended up for the first Western Conference Game 1 for Friday night's game. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We will have the Stanley Cup playoffs after the NBA playoffs of Game number 2 for the Boston Celtics and the Cavaliers. And following along will be the Bruins and Hurricanes at, at TD Garden Arena. That's their first location here for a doubleheader. And for Sunday night, we will have another one for you, the Colorado Avalanche and the Kraken. And then the next one will be in for another doubleheader. It will be game two for the Lakers and the Nuggets. That will be the next one to keep your eyes on target. So stay tuned for the next part of the game as we will get yours in a moment. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NBA Western Conference Finals on 2K Sports Style. This is Son of Beast. You can follow me on my social media on, on Instagram, TikTok, and, of course, Discord will be coming soon for a new media. Keep your eyes tuned. See you next time. Good night in Mile High. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.